Hello, in the following video we will see how to fix issues related to the Cloudflare tunnel when developing Shopify apps. You might sporadically find this error when running npm from dev from a Shopify app project and a few seconds later you will see something like this. The messaging might differ, but the idea is roughly the same, which is that Cloudflare is having some issues which prevent you from running your app locally. And in case you are asking what Cloudflare has to do with Shopify app development, the quick answer is that to connect your server running your app locally to your Shopify store or Shopify server, there needs to be an HTTP tunnel in the middle. And Shopify CLI usually takes care of setting that up for us by using Cloudflare tunnels. But when Cloudflare is having issues, we have the option, as you see in this screenshot from here, to pass the tunnel URL flag and provide a tunnel URL ourselves. So now let's see how to do that. For this, I'm going to be using ngrog. For this, you will need an account. I already have migrated, so I'll log in and let's see how to install this. So once you create your account, you're going to go here to your auth token. And then here you're going to click on show auth token. That will replace this your auth token over here with your actual token. And then you will copy the whole command. Then from a console, we are going to add the token. So from a console, I'm going to write npx and paste this command over here. You will see your token replaced with your actual token, and then you should press enter. What this will do is that if you don't have ngrok installed, by adding this npx over here, it will also install the package through npm. I will not press enter here because I already have added my token. So now from a second terminal, I'm going to write npx ngrok HTTP, and I'm going to specify a port that is not being used, in this case, 3000. And this will open a tunnel for that port. I'm going to copy this URL. And from here, I'm going to run npm on dev dash dash to pass a flag and then tunnel URL. And I will paste this URL over here, add a colon, and then I specify the port that I specified for this command over here. This will then try to run the, the Shopify app in dev mode using this tunnel in this URL instead of the Cloudflare tunnel. You can see that the extensions that are in this app have been uploaded. And if I press P, I'm going to see this ngrog screen over here. I'll click on visit site. And you're going to see this screen, which you might already be familiar with. From this screen, you should be able to click on install app to install your app as normally from your store. In this case, it was already installed. Or you can click on any of these preview links to continue working and previewing your extension or your app as normal. And in case you are also having issues with ngrok, you can try local tunnel, which is an alternative that does roughly the same. You can check the installation process over here. And then the process to connect these to Shopify is the same one we saw in this video. So there you have it. This is how you can fix issues related to Cloudflare when developing Shopify apps. If you found this video helpful, remember to like and subscribe for more Shopify related content, and I will see you all in the next one.